I studied abroad in the South Island of New Zealand. I went to Senegal, West Africa. I was able to study abroad in Madrid, Spain. For my study abroad, I went to the China Studies Institute in Beijing. So I studied abroad in Salvador, Brazil. It was the School for International Training's Public Health, Race, and Human Rights Program. Study abroad is just an amazing experience. I think everyone that I talk to that goes abroad comes back and feels like a different person. And so it's really cool to you know, be able to read something in a book here in the US and actually see it in action in a different country. I went through this whole journey of self-discovery, kind of transformative in a way that I didn't even realize it was going to be. Because everyone says that, but it's different when you go abroad and you really feel that. And so it was really just this unique and enriching experience of all these global perspectives kind of coming together that I didn't realize influenced me as much as it did. I was in a village of maybe 850 people. I didn't even know where the next American student was and it strengthened my independence and made me just be able to branch out on my own and discover things for myself. My time in Senegal enriched my DU experience by giving me more of a perspective of why I was studying what I had chose to study. I just had a new motivation for my classes and a new found interest. Being able to be somewhere else outside of your own home gives you the opportunity to open your eyes and see what else is out there besides everything that seems so comfortable here. Studying abroad gave me the unique experience to have a global perspective and to see another part of the world that I would have never experienced if I didn't go abroad. The only way a power like the United States can function in this world is by being open to other cultures and open to its relationships with other countries. I think the university is at the forefront of that. And it starts with the person by sending the student abroad. It's not like a vaccine. You don't do it and then all of a sudden its role has been fulfilled. And there you check off the box. You've been abroad and you learn a bunch of stuff. It's something that has an implication for how you deal with things later in life. And it's something that maybe people don't realize until five or ten years down the line, how much it's affected them and their worldview and how they think about themselves and their relationships with friends and so on. I think study abroad at DU is a really unique opportunity um, because the Sherrington program allows you to really pick anywhere in the world that you have an interest in. You can actually go there and experience it. Like in, in my case, you know, I didn't speak a word of Chinese. I'd, no one in my family had ever been to China, but I still felt like it was a place I wanted to go and I, I can't imagine how I would have gone to China and experienced the culture um, without study abroad here. The summer after I went abroad I ended up doing an internship at the State Department and I think um, my experience abroad definitely made me a stronger candidate for that internship. There are so many things that touch uh, almost everything that we do when we live in our daily lives that change when we go abroad. Uh, that the opportunities for learning are, are just huge and it's very, very exciting. And I think when students go abroad with, a, with an open mind and, and really, you know, in, in many ways want to be challenged and want to be excited, that they get an enormous amount out of it. There's something good in all kinds of travel abroad. You know, someone once said that it takes a new geography to make a new person. And there's a kind of unspoken, very, very difficult to explain feeling that we have when we travel and when we're abroad in the sense that we do see things slightly differently. We do see things freshly. You know, we may reach a better understanding of who we are or what our national values are, or what it is to be an American and so on. But we also, I think at our best when we travel abroad, start to see things through other people's eyes. And when that happens, that's when internationalization really starts to take effect. <laughs>